Hey, 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 how is it going again, Guardians? LV Native here with another Destiny video. Before we get started, what do you guys think about that new intro, huh? I gotta do my outro to go with it, you'll see at the end of this, but I spent a couple days working on these, you know, I'm still getting the hang of using all my new video editing software, but I really like the way that these two came out. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments section below, will ya? So moving on to the topic for today. I want to talk about something that a lot of people don't cover too often. You don't really hear people mention it that much, but it's what I like to refer to as gamer fatigue. And this can happen in a bunch of different ways. One, um, you have you know your eye fatigue, your eye strain that can happen from just staring at a monitor or a computer screen for a very large amount of time. Now there are devices that can help you know alleviate that. You know, almost like yellow tinted shades that are specifically designed to help your eyes not be fatigued as quickly while looking at a screen. Um, if you find that your your eyes are just getting tired and having a hard time focusing after you've been playing for a couple of hours, just take a break. I do this myself all the time. If I've been playing for a while and you know if maybe I did a few raids or I've just been playing a lot of PvP and I just start to feel I can't focus on anything or my eyes just feel really tired, I just step away, close my eyes for about five or ten minutes, listen to some music, let my eyes rest a little bit, come back, I'm refreshed, ready to go, it works wonders. Now besides your eyes becoming fatigued, your brain and your body can both become very tired after long sessions of gaming. For your brain especially, it makes sense, right? You're playing a very fast paced, you know, maybe it's a fast paced racing game, first person shooter like Destiny, or you know, maybe it's an in-depth strategy game that makes you have to concentrate and tactically think about a lot of different things. It is going to become stressful to your brain. After several hours of that, your brain needs a quick break. Even if you take 10, 15, 30 minutes off, shut the game down, throw some music on, watch a TV show that you don't really have to pay too much attention to, but just let your brain relax for a while. When you come back, it'll feel rejuvenated and you will be playing much better, I promise you this. Moving on to the body, body, body. Now yes, your body can become very fatigued or tired, if you will, by playing for large amounts of time one way that this happens, I know you're, you're thinking, how can this possibly get tiring? You know, I'm just sitting on my couch holding a controller, playing a video game for a while. How can that make my body get tired? Well, your body is very, very much linked to your mind. And if your mind starts to get tired, eventually it will wear your body down as well. Now, you already heard a couple of my tips as far as taking your breaks and letting your eyes have a rest. And all that stuff is very important. Two more things that can be vitally important, not only for your body, but for your brain and your eyes as well is making sure you get plenty of sleep at night. Try to get at least six to eight hours if you can. Myself, uh, you know, everyone's body's a little bit different. With me, if I'm able to get six full solid, you know, hours of sleep a night, my body is fully rejuvenated. I do not really need much more than that. So for me, I try to make sure I get at a bare minimum of six hours of sleep a night. If you do the same, your body will thank you as well. Now, besides getting plenty of sleep, also eating the right food can help. Um, you know, it's too easy just to sit, especially when you have, you know, a game that you just want to play all day, you know, maybe you got the day off, you don't have to go to school, you don't have to go to work, and you just want to sit and veg out on the couch for eight hours and play, and it is really easy for you just to grab some frozen pizza or a bag of chips, you know, and grab those uh, energy drinks and just keep yourself pumped up and going, but your body will really uh, get torn down from this over a large amount of time. I used to do this all the time. A new game would come out and I would have all of my energy drinks lined up, bag of potato chips, you know, anything I could find for a quick snack. And I would not let my butt move off of that couch for several, several hours on end. And I started to realize that I was becoming really tired very quickly while playing. Even if I'd gotten a lot of sleep and everything like that, I just noticed I did not have as much stamina and I just couldn't do as long of gaming sessions as I wanted to. And this kind of makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, Food is fuel for your body, and the better quality of fuel you're putting into your body, the better your body is going to be able to perform and the longer you can push it before it starts to get tired and stressed and strained. So make sure you're eating you know, properly. I know with the Rise of Iron coming out, it's going to be very tempting, people, for you to just sit and grab you know, those energy drinks, a bag of potato chips, a frozen pizza, whatever, and just sit there for hours and hours on end. Don't do it. Resist the urge have a well-balanced you know meal breakfast lunch and dinner possibly if you're able to do all three please do so do that get plenty of sleep and those two things will dramatically increase how much longer you're able to keep playing before you have to take your breaks 
one final tip I want to give you guys, and that is if you have one particular game that you usually like to spend most of your time playing, for me, it's Destiny. And I imagine for most of you listening to this right now, it's Destiny for you as well. Do yourself a favor, with The Rise of Iron coming out in about two and a half weeks, take a little bit of break from Destiny. Um, I don't mean you have to stop playing it altogether. If you want to log in every day just to do, you know, your dailies or a little bit of bounties or whatever it is you want to do, that's fine. But don't just sit there and play hours and hours on end leading up to the new launch. The only reason I say this is you will find that if you take a little bit of a break and maybe play a couple of other games in your spare time, when the Rise of Iron launches and you come back to it full force and just want to spend all your waking hours on it, you're going to be able to enjoy it much, much more. The reason I say this is, it, this comes from experience, and it's not, not only happened to me, but this has happened to a lot of other people that I've talked to. With expansions coming out, sometimes you just have the urge to play the game as much as you possibly can. You know, get yourself prepared and leveled up as much as you possibly can before the new content comes out. And then when the new content comes out, you are just bored of the game because you've been playing it nonstop for several weeks. And, you know, you, you, it keeps you interested for a little bit, but then you just get tired of it quickly. So, do yourself a favor. I'm doing it as well. Take a break from Destiny. I know, it almost sounds like a cardinal sin, but trust me, as soon as The Rise of Iron comes out, you will thank me for it. Now, that doesn't mean you can't do, you know, your regular dailies if you like to, or, you know, knock out your few bounties that you like to get done each day. That's fine. I just don't recommend putting in large amounts of grinding sessions into it right now, when we're going to have a bunch of new content in the next few weeks to be able to go over then. So, Try it out. Let me know how you guys, you know, how it works for you once the Rise of Iron comes out. I started doing this after myself, you know, it was uh, uh, Dark Below when it came out. Before the Dark Below came out, I pumped as many hours as I could into this game. And then once the Dark Below came out, uh, you know, I had fun for a very short amount of time, but I got started to get really burnt out again because I'd just been playing the game so much. I did not make that mistake with Taken King. I did all my preparation, got all my factions right when they were getting ready to get leveled up, you know, just like I've done for this uh, for this expansion as well. If you guys saw my other video on how to prepare, I've done all that. I'm ready to go. Um, because I am, there's not much more for me to do. I'm going to take a break. I'll still be, you know, doing my weekly update videos and I'm going to be putting in a, maybe a couple PvP matches here and there. But for the most part, I am not going to be playing Destiny that much until the Rise of Iron comes out. That way, once it launches, I will be thirsty and hungry for some more Destiny and I'll have a lot of new content to take part in it. So try it out. Once the Rise of Iron comes out, let me know how it worked for you, okay? All right, guys, well, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I just want to get this quick little video out here for you, just giving you guys a few tips and pointers that I have learned over the years on how to get the most out of your gaming and stop yourself from becoming either tired or burnt out on the game of your choice. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you found this video helpful, useful, enjoyable at all, please do me a favor and smack that like button for me. Also, if you've got the time, I greatly appreciate it if you can share this video, other videos, or my channel across your other social media platforms platforms as well, such as, you know, Facebook and Twitter. It really helps me out. I do notice and see that when it happens. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for you guys. Um, we are getting really close to hitting that goal. We're at a little over 4,600 subscribers now, which is awesome. I wanted to be able to hit 5,000 by the time a rise of iron gets here. I think we are going to blow that out of the water. And I greatly appreciate all the work that you guys have done to help make that happen. Speaking of subscribers, if this is your first time to this channel, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. You will not be disappointed. There's going to be a lot of great content here for you, especially with the Rise of Iron coming out around the corner. I'm going to be putting out a lot of guides, weapon reviews, videos, tips and tricks, gameplay, stuff like that. So you will not want to miss out on that. If you're subscribed, you will be able to get notifications immediately when I post those videos so you can see them before anyone else. Anyways, guys, as always, this is LV Native. You guys are awesome, and I will see you in the next one.